Look what we've overcome oh, I'm gonna wave away my flag And count all the reasons We are the champions There ain't no turning, turning back Saying everything going on right now with COVID and the year soccer dinner wasn't something that was really awarded to us. We still want to spend some time to recognize some of the people that make our program successful and move in the right direction. First off, the parents, thank you so much for always kind of being there to support us and me and the boys. We really do appreciate um, what you allow us to do and the time that you spend to help raise your boys, but also um, become better soccer players. The coaching staff, thank you for everything that you guys do. Uh, we had a couple extra volunteers this year, which is great. So the boys didn't just have to listen to me all the time. It kind of came from another angle at the same time. The administration, uh, I know it wasn't an easy one this year, but I'm glad that the boys got some sort of season as opposed to nothing, especially for the seniors themselves. But also just to kind of mention the underclassmen because the program always kind of grows and we move on once the seniors leave. Um, and I'm excited to see what the underclassmen are capable of and what they can accomplish in the upcoming years because I know they're, they're also, again, a good group of young men uh, that I have high hopes for in the future. And then lastly, I want to recognize all the seniors on this video. I know it's not always easy, uh, countless practices, uh, games, uh, video, listening to me talk, whatever it might be. I do appreciate the, the time, the commitment that you put in to make us better as, again, soccer players, but more importantly as young men. Jeff Snyder is a player that I actually had for the last three years, both on JV and varsity. He was asked to play a different spot this year and did a great job for us in an outside back position. The other talent that he brings to our team that made us really dangerous was his long throw. And we used it as much as we possibly could because he just put us in such a great position to really score goals with that ability. Jake Wolf really could see the love for the game. 
a quiet demeanor, but uh, when he spoke, kids listened, he, and he really tried to encourage the, the group to kind of move forward and keep and keep playing as hard as they possibly could. Jake Wolf will, will be missed for what he can contribute to the team, and I'm glad that he was able to experience the last two years on the varsity level. Colton Sangalo was one of those players that um, was quiet but did his job and did it hard. I was happy to see how he progressed as a from the JV level to the varsity level in terms of the speed of the play, the physicality of it. In terms of progression, he was probably one of my um, players that I was most happy to see progress in, in, the, pro in the proper way. Danny Fiskin was one of our seniors that we plugged him in multiple positions. Whatever we needed, again, Danny was more than willing to, uh, to answer the call for us. Danny worked hard, uh, great, excellent first touch, good vision, and really kind of carried himself as a, a great young man and really kind of does love the game. Massimo has been uh, with the, the varsity team for the last three years. Anything you needed, yes coach, no problem. Because that's the kind of kid Massa is. He truly does believe in the team and he wants us all to succeed and not just himself. And he really was um, invaluable to us and, and really such a great leader on and off the field. Luke Palamides is one of our returning starters from last year and truly a, a great love for the game. Luke always wanted to compete, uh, did everything that he possibly could to, to help us kind of control the midfield. I know he has a desire to play it at the next level and I feel as though if he's given a chance, he, he can really succeed at, at that level also. Griffin O'Hay is one of our returners from last year's team and the nice thing about Griff is always competed uh, in on 50-50 balls, worked hard, um, just a really great kid. Came to practice, smile on his face, really did whatever we needed of him and great to have around. Matt Squalanti is the type of player that every program wants to have. He's really what's right about uh, high school athletics because he's such a hardworking kid, but also such a great kid at the same time. This year, he's actually the recipient of our Unsung Hero Award. Overall, an, another one of these kids that's just awesome to have, and um, uh, we're really going to miss him. Kyle Beckemeyer. I really just cannot say enough great things about Kyle. He's, he's such a great kid. Always came to practice every day with a smile on his face. Really wanted to work hard, do what was right for everyone, um, and just be a part of the program. Just always in a positive mood and doing the right thing and just an enjoyable individual. Lucas Bernstein was our starting goalkeeper this year and did great things for us. Lucas worked hard. You would see Lucas working with Luke Stefan, kind of trying to make him a better goalie, which was honestly just so enjoyable to see because you could see how much he really meant to him. We really do, did enjoy having Lucas inside the, uh, the pipes for us this year as our starting goalie. Anakin Rybacki is a great person to be around. He's not a me person. He, he's just a, I'm going to do my job and, and work hard for the team. And he was all in, worked as hard as he could every day, practice or whatever it was. And then when we implemented him in the game, he did some nice things for us too. He'll be missed just because, again, he, he's just so nice to be around and, and so positive. Nick Paskis is uh, one of those players I was actually lucky enough to coach two years ago on the JV level and then again this year as a varsity player and I was happy to see his progress that he's made over those two years. Nick is always around for a good laugh but also knew it when uh, it was time to get serious at the same time and I know he, he probably won't agree with me but I, I will miss seeing him next year. Up in the sky.